Brexit live, may on election brink? Remainers and Brexiteers brace for war and Brexit farce. Brexit Secretary, David Davis, is said to be considering guerrilla tactics to oust the PM with a no-confidence vote, which could trigger a snap election, after Mrs May's last-ditch concession to Tory rebels killed off the chance of a no-deal exit from Brussels. The result of yesterday's debate and vote is so politically messy and opaque that some commentators have suggested three nightmare scenarios. Theresa May will face a vote of no confidence and a leadership challenge before the end of 2018. A second Brexit II referendum will be held, with more complex and detailed questions, which could overturn the 2016 vote to leave the EU, and the Prime Minister could even be forced to go to the country again to confirm national confidence in both her position and Brexit. Following a day of drama in Westminster, Mrs May was weakened when she was forced into a climb down on a meaningful vote at the 11th hour to avoid a humiliating defeat in the Commons. Mrs May's concessions to fight off backbench rebellion built in the concession that within seven days of agreeing a Brexit deal, it must be voted on in the Commons and if there is a no-deal agreed by November 30, the government needs approval from MPs on what to do next. This effectively puts the power back into the hands of MPs to prevent Britain crashing out of the EU without a deal, strengthening the hand of Brussels bosses ahead of the next round of Brexit talks. But as the Tory leader caved in to avoid a Brexit rebellion, she in turn sacrificed a hard exit from the bloc, which has already sparked a huge party row between Tory Remainers and Brexiteers. Tory Europhiles insist Mrs May buckled to the demands by die-hard EU supporter and Tory MP Dominic Grieve, giving Parliament a greater say on the deal through a meaningful vote. And they are now confident they have the numbers to defeat the government if the row was to enter round two, with Tory rebel Mr Grieve telling BBC Newsnight, if it doesn't happen then obviously this isn't the end of the matter. Ultimately it is very likely that this amendment will come back from the Lords and so can be reconsidered. But Brexiteers argue that Mrs May did not make any promises to Mr Grieve. Mr Davis was reportedly furious last night when Mrs May buckled to Tory rebel demands, with his camp already considering guerrilla tactics to undermine the PM's power, according to Newsnight's political editor Nick Watts. Writing for Politics News site, politico.co.uk Tom McTague said, a super soft Brexit, or no Brexit at all just got more likely. The shift makes it significantly harder for the government to force through a hard Brexit outside the customs union and single market. It also increases the prospect of MPs forcing the referendum on the terms of the eventual deal, or even of a snap election, before the end of the year. MPs voted by 324 to 298 to reject a House of Lords amendment to the EU withdrawal bill which would have given MPs the power to tell the Prime Minister to go back and renegotiate the Brexit deal. And while rebels backed down, the close escape proved a narrow majority of MPs could easily sway the PM going forward as the fine print of Brexit is negotiated and confirmed. The concession came after intensive negotiations on the floor of the House of Commons, with Chief Whip Julian Smith shuttling between Tory backbenchers during debate on Lords' amendments to the EU withdrawal bill. Eventually, around 1520 pro-EU Tories were given assurances in a face-to-face -face discussion with the Prime Minister in her Commons office ahead of the vote.